Hey everybody, it's Riven94 here with another action figure review, and this time it's going to be on the Build-A-Figure Rhino from, of course, the Build-A-Figure Rhino Marvel Legends Infinite Spider-Man Wave. It's Wave 3, and of course we have Rhino here. We're going to go ahead and build him and put him together and see how the figure looks and how he stacks up and if he's a worthy Build-A-Figure. So. Alright, so I'm going to try to do this the best I can on camera. I've never really done this before, so hopefully I don't screw up. But we got the left and the right leg. Let's do these first and see how they uh, turn out to be. Uh, so we got the leg in there. Put the right one in there. Hopefully they're in all the way. I'm not even sure. Oh, there you go. Click. And I think that one clicked too. Uh, we got the arm. These will click for sure. There you go. And then the other arm. And then we have, let's go with the normal head for now. And there we have it. So right off the bat, I honestly think this is probably one of the coolest build figures there is right now. I mean, this just looks badass. Now, he's not as big as Galactus or anything like that, but I mean, this he's pretty big um, for a build figure from Hasbro, and he's pretty hefty. Uh, every piece is solid plastic, except for that torso. It's a little bit of a hollow plastic. It's the only piece that is hollow. Uh, other than that, everything is solid, and the figure looks freaking great. I mean, the detail is phenomenal. To dive in and take a look at the detail on the figure, and you can see what I'm talking about is just the way they sculpted and painted him came out really nice. I'm glad they didn't rush it, and they, they took their time with this one and actually got some different paint variations on the skin. It's not just a flat gray. Uh, they actually painted variations, got some brown with some gray and darker gray, light gray, and looks really, really nice. So, of course, he doesn't come with any accessories. I know sometimes baths do come with accessories, but uh, he does come with a separate head, which is a crazy, crazy head. And see, I can pop this one out. And there is the separate head. It's really crazy looking. Like, he's I mean, going insane crazy. He's about, to, he's about to knock you down, like, running towards you. Uh, but that is pretty cool that they came with two two of them, and I really like if this was their intention I like how since the face is so like spread out with this big mouth uh, You can see the skin on the horns. It just moves up, and that's a very good attention to detail If you can look at the horns you can really compare right here how this one see it's just horns And then here the skin moves up. I just something little I noticed not a big deal But I love the attention to detail there so heading to the articulation of the figure, uh, left and right on the head. It's not on a ball joint, as you can see when we put it together, it just pegs in, but it does move really nicely. Uh, goes down and up pretty good. Uh, forward and back on the arms, in and out. Bicep swivel with a single jointed elbow. Uh, swivel at the wrist with a hinge. Ab crunch that clicks like crazy, and it's kind of loose, and I don't like that part uh, at all. Uh, the shoulder pads are kind of movable, but they're really not. I mean, they do move, but they're not really articulated, if that makes sense. Uh, swivel at the waist, T-joint for the for the leg, as, we, as you saw when we put it in. Goes forward and back, in and out, uh, upper thigh swivel. Single joint to knee with a hinged ankle and an ankle rocker. You can really see the detail on those feet and, uh, and, and the nails and how good they really went with this figure so there you have it guys that concludes my review on the build a figure rhino from the spider-man wave 3 marvel legends i would say he is worth the build very cool rhino indeed i really like how he came out uh in my opinion looks great you really want to see a little size comparison next to ghost rider uh he is not all that tall but ghost rider is pretty tall um, but, you know, he's not tall, but I don't think the character is that tall either. He's just really, really bulky. So, overall, the detail on the Builder figure looks phenomenal, in my opinion. I really like how it came out, and I do think it's well worth the build. Now, if you just want to build him sell off the other figures, go right ahead. I, think, I still think it's well worth it, and you'll get some money back, and you'll have the Builder figure. With that said, there is the review. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. You guys would like you guys. Have a great day. Bye.